Now, for those residents of the ancient city of Otupo, the administrative headquarters of the Doma ethnic group in north central Nigeria, it has become pertinent to appeal to the federal government to reconstruct the Otupo Enugu Federal Highway, which claimed seven lives only recently in a fatal accident. Similar attention is sought around St. Francis College access, as well as the Awaji, a community that lies 74 kilometers from Otupo. Stand by for details. Heavy-duty trucks maneuvering potholes in Otupo Township due to the mainly failed portion as small vehicles and motorcycles avoid them. Relics from a sad event which claimed seven lives still lies by the roadside a few meters away from St. Francis College. The accident involved a vehicle and this fallen truck within Otoko Township. This is just but one of the many sad tales of plying the major link from Makadi through Otoko to the southeast with food and agricultural products. Very, very bad, especially if you are taking it, if you are entering Otoko from Makadi, from the railway crossing there, that, that place is extremely bad. At our own level, at the local government level, we've tried to do some form of sand filling, but each time we do, it rains, it washes off immediately, and down to Enugu roundabout. And we feel very ashamed now to even tell people that we are from that axis because the Tupo local government, I mean, it's a local government that people know for a very long time, but that road has been very, very bad. So we are calling on the federal government to look into it as a matter of urgency to ensure that this road is, uh, we, are, we are done with this road once and for all because we've heard stories, the road being in budget for year in, year out, and this thing is still the same thing. In a bit to avoid the usual horror of traveling this stretch of the road just before St. Francis College, most vehicles, including heavy-duty trucks, now divert into the streets, a situation which has created additional challenges. As you can see now, especially rainy season, you cannot, in fact, if you watch the way these places are looking now, you, you, you see that, in fact, we that are staying here, we are not happy. And each time government will come and tell us that they want to do the road, they have every time, they have the, every government that will come, they will come and take, uh, 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 they snap the road, make sure the road, so many companies. And then the other of the government, too, nothing will be done. So when we complain and say this is federal road uh, project, and yet nothing will be done out, out of it up to now. I'm pleading to the federal government that they should please and come and help us and do this road. Further down the city is another death trap at the Enugu roundabout in Otoko, stretching through the township towards Aliade to Goko. At the Awadjo Fort portion, Channel's TV crew had a taste of what some of the truck drivers are faced with while attempting to get to their destinations. A resident of Awajir, Mr. Vincent Yongo, explains how commuters and residents have, for the last two years, suffered untold hardship on the road. This road has been very bad for quite a long time, over two years. For the last year, a volunteer passed here. He saw the situation of the road, which was very, very bad. He decided to bring uh, a, a tipper and pack some, some sand, which was not even uh, stones, and put around this road, which was uh, worsening the situation. 
as rain started, you can see yourself the situation. The whole thing has become very, very bad. This is a federal road, and I feel they should come and create a normal channel because this place has been bad for over two years. They should bring stones to fill this um, hole because without stones, if you bring ordinary mud, it will, the situation will remain the same. So I feel they should come immediately and help out the situation. This, this road spoils about two years now, and we are really suffering here, the road. I'm uh, appealing to the government to at least come and take a serious uh, decision about this road. In fact, it, it affects me very well because uh, Boko Awaji Road, now the passengers are fearing to follow this road again. <laughs> Many trucks and vehicles are now forced to divert through the side tracks into a fuel station to avoid the bad road. Some of the youths worry about the economic losses to the community in Nigeria as two heavy-duty trucks laden with farm produce were involved in an accident which led to loss of their goods. I say it has set the economy of Nigeria entirely because it is only the linking look here to the eastern part of the country. Then for that reason, last year, as, we, as, as you can see, we, ha we have about two trailers that, 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 that lost their load. They are more especially business people. Then we are, we are pleading to the government that they should at least come and help us. The pains of motorists are compounded by more filled portions between Awajir and Aliade, which connects Makodi. The Makodi Boko through Katsina Ala to Taraba is another filled road, requiring the urgent intervention of the federal government. Don't forget you can always be part of Eyewitness by sending us your video or photo. Simply shoot and upload to our Eyewitness portal via the Channels TV app. Download, launch and then swipe to reveal the Eyewitness menu. Follow instructions on how to upload your story. Please endeavor to add a form of contact such as email or phone numbers so we can get in touch with you. For now, let's see some of those you already posted for the week. We begin with this gory image of a boy whom our eyewitness reporter allegedly claimed was shot dead in a face-off between traders in Oweri, the Imo state capital, and men of the state task force over the demolition of their market stores. Next is this one from Angpa quarters, Tioncha area of Bainway state, showing a flooded street. Eyewitness reporter says this results from a heavy rainfall that lasted more than three hours. Similar to that and from the same state, this time at Chusa at Makurdi, the state capital, is this image showing residents wading through a flooded street. Eyewitness reporter wants the state government to work on the drainage systems to avert a recurrence. Our next image is from Gombe, Yola Road in Adamawa State, showing a fallen truck. Eyewitness account has it that this vehicle fell as a result of the road's bad state. He is worried by the hardship motorists go through using the road and calls for an urgent action. Finally is this image showing a dilapidated billboard hanging dangerously in the middle of the road. Eyewitness reporter who sent this from Ibadan Motor Park at Jebode Ogo State wants the relevant bodies to attend to this before it becomes a disaster. Those were your stories to keep them coming. And don't forget, you could visit our YouTube page to access our previous editions. Our social media platforms are also there to help us serve you better. 
Till next week, when we make our return, I'm Chris Alems. I'll keep my eyes on you. Bye-bye.